Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are just going to be playing with some of my favorite holiday makeup as well as some of my favorite makeup items to get a fresh faced, awakened kind of look. I noticed that a makeup style like this is very trendy nowadays. It's really easy to do. And I'm really excited because today's video is sponsored by Revlon. We are going to be talking about the newest concealer to their color stay line, which is the Skin Awaken 5-in-1 Concealer. I'm gonna be giving you some really great tips as far as color correction. And I mean, I've been using the color stay line from Revlon probably since I was like 14 or 15 years old. So this truly is surreal that I get to introduce you guys to their newest concealer in the line. So if you want to learn how to get this look, especially complexion, I give you a lot of tips that I actually incorporate into the bridal makeup that I do for events just to get as natural looking skin while giving it the most perfected look. That's kind of the focus for today. As well as awakened under eyes and using eyeshadow as well to be a part of that. Really great tips in this one. Let's get into it. If you are going for a hydrated, fresh look to the skin, one of the most important things that you need to do is to properly prep and hydrate your skin, especially somebody like myself who does have a drier skin type. So you need to find a moisturizer that's light enough to be underneath makeup, but is obviously thick enough to truly hydrate your skin. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is one of my all-time favorite pre-makeup moisturizers. It really gets the job done in terms of just making makeup look really pretty on top of it. This is one of those classic products that you really cannot go wrong with. I'm warming it up in between my fingers and then I'm gonna focus the product first on the drier part of my face which is going to be my cheek area and then whatever's left on my fingers I'm gonna put it everywhere else. And then it's best if you give your skin a couple minutes to soak that product in. Maybe do your eyebrows. I'm just going to wait a couple minutes and then I'll be back. Next up, I'm going to move into primer. This part is really optional, but I've been loving the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. It took me a while to jump on board with this, but ever since I started using it, I really can't put it down. It's one of my recent favorites of the last couple of months. This is great because it smooths out the skin, which perfectly preps it before makeup, but it also hydrates at the same time so my dry skin really appreciates the formula of this product so I'm just gonna pump out a little bit and I'm gonna focus this in the areas that are more textured on my face which is gonna be the t-zone area and then along the jawline just to smooth that out and perfect it before we put foundation and whatnot on top of it so while that soaks in I'm going to move into my eyebrows I'm just going for a really simple light fluffy brow I'm going to start off by using my Kosas Brow Pop Eyebrow Pencil, which is a product that I've had to force myself not to use, but I just love it so much. It's the perfect waxing to creamy ratio. It's just amazing. So I've never really been into too fluffy of brows, but I do like the more natural brow look. It also is easier. <laughs> so I brush my brows up and then I work on kind of straightening the line down here, just like this. The outline of the eyebrow is really going to make the biggest difference. So to me that's the most important part and then I'm gonna brush my eyebrows down and then same thing work on the outline or fill in the sparse areas for me my eyebrow hair doesn't grow up here so I don't have too much shape so I do like to draw a little bit of shape and thickness onto my brows and then I'll go in and kind of fill in the rest of the brow I'm not going too crazy I'm not drawing a new brow on myself and then as you get towards the inside you just flick up and then you're gonna brush your eyebrows up and that's gonna blend the pencil you see and you get really fresh simple brows and then as far as eyebrow gel today I'm not feeling anything too thick or too controlling but I just want something to hold my brows together today so I'm gonna use the benefit 24 hour brow setter it's been a while since I've used this on camera but I really enjoy the bristles on the applicator because I feel like it brushes through each eyebrow hair individually which in return makes the eyebrows look thicker than they really are because each brow is placed and separated. So just like that, I brush it up and then normally when I take care of my brows, I do trim them so that way they aren't up towards my forehead. <laughs> my moisturizer and my primer have set so I do think it's time to start working on the face. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of color correction. I don't do too much on myself because I am not in terrible need of color correction but what I've learned through the years as being a bright 
bridal makeup artist is how important color correction can be. I never quite understood it until I got out in the field and started working with so many skin tones and skin types and especially with event makeup it's so important that you get good coverage without putting too much on because that way it can be seen in the photos. So you want as light of a layer as possible while also having the most amount of coverage because photography does take a good amount of that makeup away. So that is where I started utilizing the wonders of color correction. So I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks on color correction. I'm going to be using the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken 5-in-1 Concealer for this. The Colorstay line from Revlon is so famous for good reason. I use their foundation for years. It's such a reliable complexion line. So these are the newest concealers that are going to be added to the line. And I think this is really awesome because there are five benefits within this one concealer. They're going to erase, perfect, brighten, hydrate, and refresh. And the best part is, well, they have a great range of colors in terms of the concealer itself, but they also come with a neutralizer shade and a brightener shade and I'm going to use these two to color correct and give you some tips that I have. Now these are formulated with vitamin C and caffeine which is going to visibly awaken the skin and your under eyes are going to thank you for that. So they have the universal brightener shade which is a pinky toned color. The pinkiness is going to brighten dullness and sallow yellow tones. And then this is the one that I mostly am going to need. This is the universal neutralizer. This is more yellow toned and this is going to visibly brighten and correct blue and purple tones. I'm really excited that they are offering these. Let me show you how they work. All of them are going to come in a squeezy tube applicator. You twist the top off and then you squeeze it from the bottom and then the product itself is going to come out of the sponge at the top. Very easy to use. You don't have to squeeze too hard to get the product out. And there is an antibacterial benefit to this. With a lot of the concealers that do have the wand applicator, if you put it on the skin and you put it back in the product that is going to contaminate the product. Taking it back to makeup school here. <laughs> this is nice because the product doesn't go back into the container. It stays out here. So that's going to help with bacteria not getting in the product. As a makeup artist, I love that it's a squeeze tube because I will just squeeze this out and put it on my palette and that way it doesn't contaminate anything. So we like squeezy tubes. So the biggest areas that I'm going to need with color correction is going to be my under eyes and my acne spots right here. I just want to neutralize them. So the universal neutralizer is going to be the one that I'm probably going to use the most just because that's what my skin needs. So I'm just going to squeeze it out. You can see the product coming out. I didn't need to squeeze too tight or too hard. And I'm just going to put some right in the areas that are more blue and purple, which for most people is going to be the inner part of the eye right here. And then I'm also going to neutralize my acne. Now, according to color theory, green is what you're going to want to use to neutralize the redness but on the color wheel yellow is right by green so this is going to work just fine to lightly neutralize for an everyday application. I'm going to take my sponge and I'm just lightly going to tap out the edges of the acne. It doesn't need to be perfectly blended in because remember we are going in with a foundation afterwards but this way you'll see the redness is not so vibrant. And same thing with the eyes. This should show you, you do not need too much product to color correct. First of all, you don't want to cake up too much product because that is how concealer will fall into those fine lines. But if you just add the lightest layer, no more blue, no more purple, no more red, that's all you need. Now on my skin tone, I don't have a deep need for the brightener, but if you have any dull areas, yellow, even sometimes melasma, the brightener is going to be for you. I notice a lot of times on my clients, there's a lot of yellow that hangs out around here. That might be where you want to put it. Just for today, I am gonna brighten just a little bit right in here and right here, just to keep my skin and eye area looking awake. But just these subtle touches are going to do a lot. You'll see in my videos, I don't do too much color correction because like I said, I don't have an intense need for them. But when it comes to my bridal makeup, I use color correction on almost all of my clients, especially for the purple under the eye. Next up, I am going to use my skin tone color concealer. So this doesn't lean yellow and it doesn't lean pink. This is what's actually going to conceal the skin. My perfect shade is light medium. I love this shade. It's not too bright for me and it still covers. I'm gonna squeeze some of this out. I'm putting 
putting it right over top where I color corrected in any areas that I might need extra coverage. And then my nose always needs a little extra coverage. <laughs> Applying concealer first before foundation, I find gives a really seamless look to the skin in terms of every day. If I'm looking to shade or highlight the face, which is most of the time I do put concealer on after foundation, but if I want a really skin-like appearance, I promise you, put your concealer down first. It's a great tip for everyday makeup. So I'm just patting it out and you'll see this concealer spreads very far. It means I need less foundation because it evened everything out by itself. I'm just gonna use my Estee Lauder Future Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup just to bring it all together. This is really great because it gives a nice glow. It looks really healthy on the skin for the type of look that I wanna go for today. And I think it's gonna blend in with this concealer really good. But you can see, I mean, in terms of everyday, if you just wanna walk out the door, you're good with this in terms of skin. I'm gonna put this right over acne, my cheek area, and my forehead. I'm gonna blend it out. Another one of my favorite benefits to using concealer first is I only needed a half a pump of foundation. So for those of you who are fans of the less is more, I'm telling you, that's a really, really great trick that I've learned through doing bridal makeup. To set my under eyes, I'm gonna use the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I really wanna keep the integrity of the glow of my skin today. This is the best powder to set the skin that still actually legitimately keeps the glow. So I'm gonna put this in my T-zone area just like this so it's not gonna change the integrity of the foundation that you used. And then almost as more so of a finishing powder, something to give the face some luminosity. I know I talked not nice things about this but it really can be a great asset to a complexion routine. I'm gonna use the Glowish by Huda Beauty Luminous Press Powder in the shade Light. And I'm gonna make sure I'm not using a dense brush at all. Something nice and soft so that I'm not packing the color on because this will get too glowy and too highlighty and emphasize those imperfections. But if you just use a very light brush and a little bit of product, it's gonna give you that glowy appearance, which is so pretty. I'm gonna turn the light down a bit and I think the sun is coming in, there we go. All right, let's move Move in to the eyeshadow now. I'm using a little bit of my Vizzy Art eye primer just to prep the eyes for eyeshadow. I want to use one of my favorite holiday eyeshadow palettes that have come out and since I'm going for a more natural glowy kind of look I thought that the Charlotte Tilbury Celestial Pearl Palette would be perfect. One thing that Charlotte Tilbury's makeup line has taught me is that you don't need the eyeshadow to do the definition. Eyeshadow can actually be a part of helping it to awakening the eyes which I really really enjoyed. I'm not going to do too much if, as far as depth but we're going to use this shade right here and I'm just gonna place this right in the outer corner. I'm not even going to really blend it into the crease at all. I just want the most depth to be in this outer corner right here. And I'm gonna do a very very simple eye today. So I'm taking this shade right here which is kind of like a pinky gold duochrome and I'm just gonna lightly pat this all over the lid just like that. I did not expect to love this quad as much as I do you guys. I thought it was gonna be kind of like a boring palette and I thought I would want more depth with this, but I really don't feel that way anymore. It's one of my new favorites from Charlotte. So you'll see right there. I mean, this look does have a little bit of depth, nothing crazy, but I love it. And I'm gonna go into the pop shade right here and I'm gonna press those extra glitters here to keep us nice and glowy. And then along the lower lash line, I'm actually going to use this rose gold shade. And this is the key to brightening up those under eyes. Normally, especially for me, I like to go in with a deeper shade, but actually using a light shade like this is going to open up the eyes. This is a very popular trend in Asian makeup. It's something simple like this, and I'm also gonna put that in my inner corner and below the brow bone. And where the depth is gonna come in with this look is going to be the mascara. So for the rest of my face and the color, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Universe Palette. This is thus far my favorite face palette to have come out this holiday season. So I'm gonna start off by using the bronzer, which is a little bit more rosy toned. And I'm gonna put this along the perimeter of my face. 
and I want something really bright to awaken the face. So I'm going to go ahead and use this blush right here. And hourglass blushes just blend like a dream. And if you want to tone it down, just take your sponge and press it into the skin. I might have been a little bit too enthusiastic with the blush. Okay, next up, I'm going to use the highlight in here. We're keeping it very easy. I'm just using all of the colors that came in this palette. I love this palette, you guys. Just so easy and pretty. It's not too much. Highlight the nose, the chin. Okay, to awaken the eyes even more, and now we're going to add the depth. I'm gonna start off by using my Ruffer Lash Curler. Let me see how that automatically opened the eyes. And for mascara today, I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath Labs Dark Star Mascara. When I tell you this mascara builds like no other, I love how much volume this mascara gives me. Let's finish up with the lips now. I want something that's not too far from my lip color, but it's going to give me a little depth and shape. So I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Honey Beige. If you're wondering why mine looks so messed up, it's because I sharpened it and um, this is an automatic pencil. <laughs> it's not meant to be sharpened, so that's why this looks like this, but I just, I love this color so much. You see how it's just barely deeper than my natural lip color? So that really allows me to add some shape. And for a, like a bright and fresh look like this, I do like my lips to stand out a little bit. Like just a little bit, still keeping it neutral. Then I'm gonna go into an underrated holiday release in my opinion. This is the Fenty Beauty Heat Lip Gloss in Fenty Glow. So this essentially is a plumping version of their Fenty Glow Lip Gloss and I love the tingles that it gives me. And it's such a great everyday color. And it just makes your lips look so full and beautiful. All right, I'm gonna back up and I will kind of finish this whole look up for you. So here is the final look now that we've taken a step out and you'll see this is just a really fresh wide awake look We've perfected the skin while keeping the layers very thin We've awakened the eyes with color correcting and a brighter eyeshadow look and we've kept it really natural and quick and easy to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, a huge thank you to Revlon for allowing me to be a part of this campaign for their new Color Stay Skin Awaken 5-in-1 Concealer. Make sure you guys check it out. And thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel, liking this video, and for all of your continued support. Opportunities like this wouldn't be possible without you guys. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.